So with that being said, I'll be sharing my NFL primetime game predictions. So these are all the NFL primetime games that I will be sharing my prediction for you guys in week eight of the NFL season. So starting off with the Thursday night game, you have the Minnesota Vikings going on the road to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Now, this will be a welcome home party for Kevin O'Connell. Kevin O'Connell is, is the former offensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Rams. That is how he was discovered as a good offensive mastermind in the NFL. And that's the reason why he got that job with the Minnesota Vikings when he helped the Los Angeles Rams win a Super Bowl a few years ago in L.A. Now, TJ Hawkinson, the Minnesota Vikings tight end, will be returning to this game, uh, making his season debut, returning from a torn ACL that he suffered towards the end of the NFL season last year. We should also see Cooper Cup star wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams make his return back to the field. So we should be seeing some star-studded players make their return for their respective offenses heading into this Thursday night matchup. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings to win this game. I think this could be a good game. I like a score of 24-20 to 20 to win this game for the Vikings. Um, I think the Vikings will win uh, will win this game, and I think they'll learn from their defensive mistakes that they had last week against the Detroit Lions, not stopping the run where Gibbs and company had uh, over, 140, uh, over 140 yards rushing as a team. Uh, I think they'll learn from this game, learning how to contain the run, and I think they'll have Kyron Williams in check in the backfield this week. I think Brian Floyd is going to have a good uh, have a good game plan for the defense to contain the run this week. And I do believe that this Minnesota Vikings defense will create havoc, cause havoc, and turn over and force some turnovers in this ball game. So that's why I lean towards them. And I also believe that Kevin O'Connell having his homecoming and coaching against his former boss. And Sean McVay, he's going to show off in the playbook a little bit. I think he's going to have a good game calling plays on the sideline for Sam Darnold, Justin Jefferson, uh, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, if it could be a factor, Aaron Jones running the football, passing the ball, running the football, you name it. I think the Vikings are going to have good game plans on both sides of the ball to get a good win on the road against the Rams on Thursday night football. Now, next game, you have the Buffalo Bills traveling to Seattle to take on the Seattle Seahawks. This will be Fox's America's Game of the Week. I want to see how this Seattle Seahawks team uh, plays this week. I want to see how Mike McDaniel's, uh, Mike, excuse me, Mike McDonald's team goes out and performs this week because this Seattle Seahawks team did start off the season 3 0. They now find themselves at 4 3. Even though they picked up a big victory on the road against the Atlanta Falcons last week, I want to see, it, and that also, that victory came with Geno Smith not really throwing the ball well in the second half of that game. I want to see how the Seattle Seahawks team comes out to play against a contending team, a heavyweight contending team in the AFC and the Buffalo Bills right now. And I, uh, that's five and two. And nextly for the Bills, I want to see how Amari Cooper could be established in the game plan. Uh, last week, I do believe off the top of my head, he had three catches for over 50 yards receiving and a touchdown. He did have a drop, though, I saw. Uh, but I want to see if Amari Cooper could get going in this offense. I want to see if he could be a true number one wide receiver for Josh Allen, play a similar role, possibly, of what Stephon Diggs did in this Buffalo Bills offense, being Josh Allen's number one wide receiver. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to go with the Bills getting a big road victory, an impressive road victory, I should say, against the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday. Uh, Bills offense, I think once they get, uh, they're going to get James Cook, their uh, bell cow running back back. But once the Bills can get the ball uh, going, running the football with James Cook and having run designs for Josh Allen, I think they're going to control the pace of this game. This Seattle Seahawks team defensively actually surrenders 146 rushing yards per game. So I think that could be a big factor in the reason why that the Bills do win this game on the road against the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the next game is the Cowboys versus the 49ers. The Cowboys going on the road to San Francisco to play the 49ers. Now, that's a big Sunday night matchup. The problem is this Cowboys team is 3-3. Three and three. They don't look like themselves of being a 12-5 and five team three years in a row, a contending team in the NFC. And the same thing could be said about the San Francisco 49ers. They find themselves at 3-4. and four. They're not looking the best as well. The 49ers are known for being a heavyweight contender in the NFC as well. So both teams are struggling coming out of the gates. Uh, the Cowboys are coming off an ugly 
49 to 7 loss two weeks ago at home against the Detroit Lions. That was actually the worst loss since Jerry Jones bought the Dallas Cowboys in the late 80s. So the Cowboys got some cleaning up to do on both sides of the ball. And then I'm looking at this 49ers team. Uh, they're banged up. There's no Christian McCaffrey. He's still out. Brandon Ayuk just tore his ACL. Dave, Debo Samuel is battling a sickness right now. They're hoping to get wide receiver Jawan Jennings back for this ball game, a big Sunday night game for both teams. That could be a swing game for how their season goes for the rest of the season. But any other time I would go with the 49ers winning this game, Kyle Shanahan and company, they do have our number. They are our kryptonite in the NFC, and I have no problem admitting it. But I do believe that the Cowboys will get the better part of the 49ers this week. I just feel like the, the 49ers are going to be battling too many injuries to defeat this Dallas Cowboys team. They are missing Christian McCaffrey. They will be missing Brandon Ayuk. We don't know if Debo Samuel will play. Jawan Jennings is also questionable to play as well. But I think this Cowboys team is going to rally back from all the backlash that Jerry Jones has given them. With Jerry Jones throwing players under the bus, Dak Prescott, head coach Mike Carthy under the bus. Troy Aikman throwing shots at this Dallas Cowboys team on Monday Night Football during the broadcast in terms of not signing Derrick Henry. I think this Dallas Cowboys team is going to pick up a big road victory and try to get their season back on track against the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday Night Football. They'll find a way, I believe, somehow, some way. But the final game on the Monday on the primetime slate, you get the Monday Night Football matchup between the Giants and the Steelers. The Giants going on the road to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's a big Monday Night game. Now, the Giants, they are 2-5, and five, and I said that they have an underrated defense. I think they have one of the most underrated defenses in the NFL. Uh, but with better quarterback play, I think this team would be at least a 500 team. Daniel Jones hasn't really lived up to his contract thus far this season. He has yet to throw a touchdown pass in MetLife Stadium in over two years. So that should tell you that this Giants team is where it needs to be in terms of pieces with this offensive line finding their groove finally, the defensive side of the ball playing well, it's just the quarterback Daniel Jones really holding them back. And they can get a, uh, a good running back for the future. But you guys get my point. Then I'm looking at Russell Wilson. I questioned the quarterback change last week on last week's episode. Why would the Steelers go from Justin Fields to Russell Wilson after starting 4-2? and two? But... Russell Wilson looked pretty damn good against the Jets on Sunday Night Football. I mean, he had two passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. And I have to say, that's the best that the Pittsburgh Steelers offense has looked all season long. So I got to say, I think the Steelers will win a big time game against the New York Giants on Monday Night Football. I think the Steelers will have two back to back weeks of beating the two teams in New York of the Jets and the, uh, and the Giants. The two out of three teams, I should say, in New York of the Jets and the Giants. But I think the Steelers, they're just the more physical team right now. Mike Tomlin has this team playing on a different level right now, have themselves at 5-2. and two. Uh, And I feel like they're going to find success running the football with Najee Harris. I think their defense is going to create havoc and uh, have a lot of, create a lot of pressure and create and get sacks, get home to Daniel Jones in this ball game, possibly force him to have some turnovers in this ball game. I like the Steelers picking up a comfortable victory. Uh, at home, uh, Monday Night Football against the New York Giants. But those are my NFL primetime games for this week in the National Football League.